I'm Donald Hillier Jr. and I'm the senior pastor of Cathedral International, Perth Amboy, New Jersey. And we want to encourage you to visit us at one of our amazing services in Perth Amboy at 8.30 a.m. or 11 a.m. in Asbury Park at 9 a.m. or Plainfield at 12.30 p.m. You know, there are so many things going on in the world. There are so many roads that you can take. There are so many answers that we seek and so many questions for which there are no answers. We do believe that you will find a friendly, welcoming face here at Cathedral. And we encourage you to bring the whole family. Come as you are in these lazy, hazy, hot days of summer. Come as you are. And together, let us find hope in the midst of times and situations that seem hopeless. There is hope in Jesus Christ. God bless you. I look to see you. And in fact, come up and shake my hand personally and let me know that you saw this and we will welcome you in a special way. Thank you. I'm looking for you. Come and see you soon. Good morning, church. I'll be reading and speaking on... A Ecclesiastes 12.1, and it reads, Remember now your creator and the days of your youth, before the difficult days come and the years draw near when you say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain, in the days when the keeper of the house shall tremble, and the sound and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out the windows be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the streets, when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of the music shall be brought low, also when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail, because man go to his long home, and mourners go about the streets or ever the silver cord be loosed, or the golden bowl be broken, or the pitcher be broken at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the cistern. And then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto the God who gave it. This is the word of the Lord. In the book of Ecclesiastes, the writer speaks words of wisdom about life. He was trying to figure out what was the meaning of this thing that we call life. Here he is now in chapter 12, encouraging us to remember our God while we are still young, before difficult days arrive. He shares with us things that can happen in the history of our lives. He speaks about tribulations, sicknesses, and griefs and such, but why is it so important that we remember our God while we are young? See, in Joshua 1, 8, it says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate on it day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to that what is written therein. For then shalt thou make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Do you remember those days that um, you was about to make a decision, and your mom always told you different? And then you say, whatever, mom, but at the end of the day, you realize that everything your mama said was right? See, it is now in, your, now in your youth, now that you have a fresh start at life, it is good now to start walking in the way of your Father God. He knows the right way to go. See, we can go and party and get wasted and have a good time, but the Bible says that God is not mocked. To, for whatever a man sow, if that will he also reap. If you sow to the flesh, you will reap corruption. But if you sow to the Spirit, you will reap everlasting life. Uh, yes. You can smoke all the weed in the world you want, but remember that you will reap a consequence. As long as the earth remains, there will be seed time and harvest. See, when you honor God, it could just make all the difference in your life. God's ways is just so much better than your way. If mama was right, then what makes you think that the very God made your mama would be, wouldn't be right? So now that you're young, walk in the way of the Lord. It may not seem cool to your friends that you're living a holy and righteous life, but it can save you from a whole lot of destruction. Yeah. It may seem that the wicked is prospering, getting money and all that, but see, when judgment day comes, all that money they're making is not going to be with them. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what? You're going to be living the life in the mansion King Jesus has prepared for you. Yeah. 
See, when you're living for God, he could keep you on the right track because the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. See, when you're living for God, he could keep your mind right because the same mind that was in Christ is in you. See, when you're living for God, he could keep health in your body because by those stripes of Jesus, you are already healed. See, when you're living for God, he could protect you from your enemies because the battle is not yours. Huh? It is the Lord's. When you're living for God, he could give you favor, and most importantly, he can save your life from destruction. See, before you're saved, Satan could lead you into sin, and when you fall into that sin and decide to get saved, you start reaping the consequences of your past sins, and Satan deceives you into thinking that God caused all that to happen, and when you start getting mad at God for the mess that you put yourself in. But anyways, God can make your life prosperous. So now that you're young, now is a good time to honor and remember your God. And I promise you, he will keep your life right. You can have a sorry start, but how many of you know that God can give you a flourishing finish? And as I take my seat, my last words to you are, remember your God in the days of your youth. Thank you.